Welcome in the Lifetime Activity Center. Dusty Lister, Dane Stewart with you. And Austin Bigel will run the camera tonight. We have the Fort Wayne Fury and the Indiana Alley Cats and a chance to see the highest rated non-committed basketball player in the state of Utah, Jackson Johnson. Yeah, and you know, I think uh, when varsity season comes around, you're going to see him be much more aggressive offensively. It's it's been really fun to see him look for his teammates, and yeah. I mean, we talked to him. He's like, "Look, it's like playing pickup ball, right?" And and you can kind of see he's certainly got like a gamer approach to his game, right? Where he'll attack you, but it feels like in this is like, "Hey, look, man, this is about." moving the ball around, having fun, like just playing good ball. And it's it's been fun to see that side of his game really shine in the top 50 this year. Oh, absolutely. I think they're missing a basket. That was a three-pointer, right? Uh, that's what they have on the board. But they missed the plus one on this end. Or was that an offensive foul that took it off? Uh, Haskell scored with the foul, I thought. Yeah, I missed that. I was too busy getting my rosters in shape. <laughs> okay, they got to fix. So it is three to three. But of course, the big news of the day in the state, Brody Kozlowski, who we'll see next week, at least we're supposed to, we believe, as that jump hook is good from George McConkie. The, uh, Brody Kozlowski committed to USC today. we will fight on with Andy Enfield. Well, and yeah, I was going to say James. James, yeah. I haven't heard these medically cleared yet. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't heard either. Oh, um, Austin Bigelow keeps track of all that stuff. So, yes, yes, he is. As Jackson Johnson falls away. Any other news you want to give us in the Bronny James life? No? Okay. I don't know, man. He he apparently is way up on the basketball world. He is. He's telling us all about, you know, which players were drafted in wrong spots in prior <laughs> years. And... There's a three good from Luke West. Yeah, thank you, Luke West. He's wearing the sleeves again tonight. And I got used to, and that's Romer, as I got used to him not having the sleeves on last week, Luke West. He goes and changes it up again. We didn't get to see Isaiah Riser last week. Good to see him back with the Fury. Well, fall break a week ago. As some guys go in and out of town as loose ball tracked down. The three won't fall for Dutch Dowdell. Quickly ahead, Romer. Man, he's had a good fall, and it's Jackson Johnson with the follow-up. And 9-8, to eight, the lead to the Fury. Yeah, but yeah I, his head coach is in the building. District. Coach Miller, of course, uh, I, I don't know, he's a Lakers guy. I, don't, I can't believe he's missing the Lakers game for this. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> How about having your priorities in the right spot? Way to go, yeah, Coach. Yeah, good job, Coach Come Miller. watch your team. Haskell oh. blocked by McConkey. George likes his blocks come easy. <laughs> Luke West pump it, drive it, and gets the foul. So Luke West will go to the line. That will go to. As Haskell is called for the foul. You know, the other thing we have in this game is deep benches for both teams. It feels like we haven't had really depth against depth very often. In That's the true. This year. Well, we had a good bench last game, too. Yeah. So, yeah, I have the fall break, and all of a sudden people are here. Well, look, East, you got you got to get your legs under you for championship week next week. Huh? Easton Duft couldn't get that one to go. Board to Romer. Oh, I knew Kelby was a Lakers fan. I knew that. He was a Laker and a Dodger fan. Yeah. Isaiah Riser. And we have a loose ball foul. Zach Fisher hasn't taken a shot yet. You know, I, I do have to... This is kind of embarrassing. I was a Lakers fan. Nick Van Exel. Gary Payton. No, oh, the, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the Laker great. Yeah, with Carl Malone. Yeah. Look, Carl followed Gary. Let's make that really clear. Gary asked him to come. Carl followed Gary. I know, but Gary asked him to go. Gary is a leader. <laughs> Heat legend, Gary Payton. <laughs> the Laker legend. Oh, baseline. Nice. Oh. Didn't well, go the way he Jack planned. Allen turned around like, oh, really? So he's going to get a uh, an opportunity. Is There we go. Now I can say this. Officially. 
Davis Basketball is going to remain on the Rewind Sports go. Network. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey, welcome aboard, fellas. I told Chad that I've been saying it anyway. That we made it official today. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, look, I just presume, man. Yeah, I got, got the roster, the uh, schedule today. You know, Homer we, missed on three. We may need to get Davis Football on the yeah. old Rewind Network next year, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. I mean, the way they treat us, I will no go to the ends of the kidding. earth. And they got a young group, too. I don't know if you've heard of this kid named Bodie Sparrow. Wait, is he pretty good? Yeah, he's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, lost the handle on that drive. Isaiah in the lane. Crawls home. Oh, that might be coming out. Nice touch. In fact, the first game will be a Rewind Sports Network Bowl. It is Copper Hills at Davis. Is that threes off the mark? Of course, one of the great things, you can watch that game for free. Mm-hmm. Is that is nice. a three for Luke West? Luke's been impressive here to start. Coach Stratman, got to be excited about having him back this year. Yeah. Pascal cut off. Oh, late whistle. You know who else is excited? Diamondback County. Not a nation. I'm not fans for a nation yet. Diamondback <laughs> County. 3-2 in the fifth. Oh, they scored? They did. Uh-huh. Yeah, they scored off of that. Zach Fisher. Oh, man. Look at that, huh? You yeah. kind of see last year, like, his mix could be a problem. And he's shown the ability to shoot. I love that aggressive take there. Jackson Johnson steps through and lays it in. Now, Maricopa County isn't exactly great. You just have the RoboCop. You get your speeding tickets, and it was just mm. a little, it was literally a RoboCop, and you get mailed a ticket with a picture. Yeah. yeah. But then it was deemed uh, that it wasn't lawful. As a shot doesn't go. How is that not lawful? Yeah, because you weren't properly served. What? You're not proper. You are not being properly served. Okay. But it was argued. I didn't say it. No, I know. I'm not. I got a ticket that then was then wiped from the record. <laughs> You're like, I didn't complain. I was going to fight it. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Your Honor. I was not properly served. <laughs> exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> they never asked for yeah. refills. They did nothing. <laughs> It's like asking me to tip you, and I go to McDonald's. <laughs> that doesn't go. <laughs> now, guy Spencer sends that ball to the corner. Three on the way. No, as that was uh, nice, broken miles. Yeah. Johnson sends that ball to the corner. Back up top to Jackson. Leaves it underneath. Boy, nice work by Miles. Yeah. Got the paw in there. Had a big week one offensively. Extra pass. Shot wouldn't fall from the corner. Woo. A little hot to handle there for yeah, Spencer Cranich. Austin Simon. I don't know if I've seen Austin Simon play at Lone Peak. I think I say this every week. This pull up shot will not fall for Sawyer Sutton, and a loose ball foul. Yeah, I don't know that I have either. And it looks like he's a uh, class twenty-five, so he'd be a junior this year. There have been a lot of move-ins in the Highland area. Easy housing market to get into, I hear. <laughs> Jackson Allen, no. Miles nice saves save. it to Simon. Ball, loose ball, tipped around, picked up by Malachi Spencer. Malachi gets it up top to Sua. He'll step back for three and got it. Simon Sua. Yeah, we talked about him and Westlake this year. 
I'll be carrying a lot of that offensive load for the Thunder. Jason Carter sends that ball back up top. Bowman sends it to the corner. Sutton, no. Carter fights with Spencer for the board. We'll go the other way. Spencer Cranich. Over to Brogan Miles. Brogan on the drive. Nice take. Maybe shooting free throws a month from now. Couldn't get that one to drop. Yeah, I did like the decision there, though. We'll be well within the basketball season a month from now as that shot doesn't drop. Yeah, that's crazy. We'll be concluding the week one, matter of fact. Well, you will be concluding week one. Yeah, Dusty's going to be out in the desert looking for some water. <laughs> Only on one day. <laughs> Riding camels. I told him he's got to bench press a camel. I if he doesn't come back having bench pressed a camel, <laughs> it's going to be a failed trip. Mm. All right. <laughs> I'm definitely riding one. I am so excited. Can't wait. <laughs> Watch out. They spit. <laughs> That is one of the great <laughs> Disney lines. Of all time. Of all time. And I like Will Smith and all, but it just did not. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this. Like, Robin Williams as the genie. Unreal. Like, so good. So good. Bryce Harper was five feet away from my head nearly exploding. Yeah, but five feet the other way, he would have missed completely. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Bowman sends that ball out to Carter. Off on the three. Brogan Miles quickly ahead. Simon drives at Carter. Sends that ball back up top. Well, probably that was Sua. Now this is Simon. 4-3. Yeah, he'll fit in at Lone Peak, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Him, Taylor, Staley. And uh, is Chamberlain back? Chamberlain. Chamberlain Burgess. Ball goes out of bounds. Recently offered by SUU, if I remember correctly. Mm, good for him. He'll be going into his junior year. Or he is a junior. He and Staley both. Yeah, it's crazy how young that group was last well, year. Well, and Jackson Taylor. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we knew they were young. and They've been playing as freshmen. But it feels like they've been there for a long time, doesn't it? Yeah. Beautiful take there by Rogan Miles. From the junction. He kind of has that undersized, gritty. Who's that old point guard at AF that you loved when we started? Oh, when we started, Haas? Yeah. He kind of has like that undersized, gritty, never give up. Mm hmm. Right? Bowling for chairs. <laughs> Doing that for Sutton. Uh, and he ended up playing baseball at UVU. He was a football player, too. Why am I blinking on his first name? Austin Hawes. See, that's what I was thinking. I was like, no, it's not Austin. Yeah, Austin Hawes. So 11-point game. Simon drives the base. Sent along to Spencer. Malachi, no. Rebound to Haskell. Oh, Malachi waited on it, but running the floor was Sutton. Yeah, nice job following up there. My Sawyer. Cranich up top. Broken Miles on the drive. And it'll be Broken Miles going line. One for two. And 
in. The one for two free throw good there for Brogan Miles. Haskell blocked by Kranich. By the way, how'd you like going to Maple Mountain football? It was awesome. Gorgeous, huh? It was awesome. I'll tell you, um, yeah, Dave Boyack and company, great hosts. <laughs> Plus Beautiful one there. Facilities are right under the mountain there. Yeah. And a good crowd, too, which was phenomenal because that same night, their girls are going to win a state championship yeah. in soccer. So, you're like, they told me, they're like, we're not going to have a lot of people here because they had the girls' soccer championship, and yet the stands were full. Great community support out at Maple Mountain. It's a much bigger community than they give it credit yes, for. Yes, it. it is. All on oh, the drive mm. and. And uh, Carter fouled. Now, never mind. I was making a joke. I'll hold off. Maple Tilling gets mixed in with the uh, Spanish Fork. And they were very clear. This is Spanish Fork. And I was like, yeah. really? I didn't know that. I Maple Tilling is just a little bit away from the school. That's what he said. This yeah. is not Mapleton. We're in Spanish Fork. Yep. I was like, all right, fantastic. Good to know. As the free throw was good. That was the last place Dusty lost his mind over officials, was at that field. Kai's last game. I was going to say, I, you don't mess with family. <laughs> Drive and make. 35-21. Sutton up top, Haskell. Now Duft. Jackson Johnson. Jackson drives at Fisher. Good D there by Zach. Step back from Carter. Not his night tonight. Has not started to fall for the young man out of Provo. Dowdell. That's good defense there by Sutton. Look at him. Willing. You know, I'm waiting for the next Parker Van Dyke or uh, Mui Bea. Well, there are not a lot of Parker Van Dykes. Very true. Not a lot of Mui Bayes either. <laughs> there are even fewer I'm saying the next. Yeah. Okay, Dacian Spotted Elk. One of my favorite names of all time. It's pretty phenomenal when you think about some of the talent that's gone through that program. I mean, you could argue they've had some of the really best shooters and scorers that we've seen in the state in the last 10 years that have ran through East. And that ball in the corner, three on the way, no. Goes out to Dowdell. Dutch sends it in. McConkey. Isaiah Riser will rise for three. No. Yeah, and they did, and they, you know, they made some runs in the state tournament. I think at Dacian especially is Jackson Johnson off on the triple. I mean, Mikey Frazier, another one. Oh, Mikey Frazier. But uh, you know, they forever ruined a relationship with Dane and the Olympus Titans. You pick East once, and next thing you know, you're just blacklisted by... I'm can't just even, teasing. Can't even go broadcast there. <laughs> love our friends at Olympus. And, and look, I, I love that they continue to jest with me on that one. Hey, I, I'm happy to give bulletin board material. I was like on the undefeated season, right? As Fisher yeah, yeah. it down to go. Yep. Oh, nice job of running the floor and the dunk to Carter. But look, we have to give content. I might have done something similar this week. And so if you want to know what that is, just go watch our 5A bracket. I like one year I picked Kearns basketball the, with the 5A title. And we had done the video. By the way, our best player's out. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty, you didn't ask. I know. <laughs> Dan doesn't text me. <laughs> oh, man. By the way, since we're talking basketball, you know, he has chickens. Dan? Yeah. He gave me some eggs this week. A plus, man. Unreal. Good chickens, huh? It's not a rooster? Like, legit. Fresh eggs? Yeah, not like little, not, no little Jerry issues, huh? I'm telling you, man, it's different. Mm. The only time I ever had that was in Amish land. Oh, Z Fisher couldn't get that one. McConkey over to Fisher. Oh, West good block. block. By Carter, right in the hands of George McConkey. And he served the rim with two. 
I see what you did there. <laughs> you could say that was definitely properly served. Oh, properly served, absolutely. It was lawful. Oh, at the horn there from Jackson Johnson. Scoreboard was a little off. So the half, it is 35-23, according to our friends inside the arena. I will match them. So we'll take a break. Actually, it's 35-25. So we'll take a break. We'll be right back. You're watching the Utah Top 50. Start of the second half, Dusty Litster and Dane Stewart with you. As the Alley Cats jumped out to a 10-point. Well, they did add the point. So 12-point lead, 37-25. Yeah. Um, hang on. We're working on it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm waiting on bated breath. Well, <laughs> you just wait. Because there is a reference that's going to be fit in in this second half, Ooh. and I think you're going to like no, it. I'm hoping I don't miss it. Crane inch goal line, one for two. <clears throat> Again, next week we'll be at the Delta Center. Boy, that's a tough pass. No, yeah, it was a tight window. Yeah, nice job by Spencer. He's running stride for stride. And look, in football, that's a pass interference. But in basketball, you can face guard all you want. You don't turn around and look for the ball. <laughs> Send out to Jackson Johnson. Jackson goes at Zach Fisher. Blocked oh. away by Fisher. Got it right back and lays it in. Yeah, that's that's the guy, you know. Mr. Alley, Cat Alley, Cat, where are you? <laughs> I love you. There it is. Jackson Johnson. I knew you were a Tom Jones fan. I knew it as Crane until lays that one up and in. Well, you know the reference for that, right? That's what? from a movie. Alley Cat, Alley Cat? Well, it's not Alley Cat. It's, a, it's a different. I know. That's the song from Tom Jones. Well, it's in um, Meet the Parents. That's the song that he sings about his cat. Oh. Right? Yeah. To call in. I don't remember the cat's name. Sphinx? Sphinx? Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Sphinx. I don't remember. Anyway, that's the song Can he sings. you milk me, Greg? Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, Johnson gets that one in the 10-point game. Tom Jones. Please. Tom Jones sings a song. I'm not a Tom Jones guy. Now, look, I'm a Neil Diamond guy. Two I'm a Neil three. Diamond guy. Oh, Euro and finish for Jackson Johnson. You know, I was around when that move was created, and for years it was like, that's illegal. He's done it, used it a couple times tonight. Yep. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Bob Cousy and all the plumbers used to play in the NBA, they don't like it. <laughs> Oh, man. Flush. <laughs> Do you remember that whole thing? J.J. Reddick said, well, Bob Cousy played yeah. against a bunch of yeah. firemen and plumbers or firefighters. Did you catch my flush reference? You did not. I, I heard you say it, but I'm trying to think. The Office. When Dwight goes to Tallahassee. Oh. And <laughs> Gabe is there. He's the plumber. Hey, Dwight. <laughs> flush. Oh, nice steal by Miles. <laughs> oh, Fisher. See, we'll have all but two of their games this year. They play two games in California in December. You know, I'm glad in all the realignment that a lot of those regional one rivalries were kept intact. Because you think about Davis, Layton, like there's some great ones up there. Um, and you always just worry that you're going to lose rivalries with frequent re realignment. And I'm glad we've still got them, right? Syracuse, Farmington, like there's some great battles up north. Well, there's be some little change with uh, Westfield coming in and there's a steal. I know. Oh, Jax Allen. That was nice. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, with uh, Westfield coming out, I don't know how Fremont stays the biggest little school in the state. Well, and, you know, that's 
just for those interested, those that also has the potential to mix up some of the coaching Ooh. up north as well. Oh, um, which will be interesting. Really? Don't you think? Well, sure. I mean, you know, Coach Russell was the head coach at Syracuse okay. and heads over Good to Westfield job. to be the AD, and you've got to populate new football coach and basketball coach. I mean, you 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 need a bunch of new coaches. Off the steal, lob that one into Carter. And how about this? Right out of the gate, get it down to nine. Yeah, those alley cats coming back here. And Fisher pull for three. No. Rebound to Johnson. Sends this one ahead to Bowman. And he lays it in. A Chantry Ross. Another Bingham Miner there in Tate Bowman. Fisher comes right back, draws the foul. We have a coach that's unhappy. That's one of the benefits about having an empty gym. You hear everything. <laughs> He's counting plays down there. <laughs> I have a lot of plays to go many times over and over. Fisher, no. Rebound to Jax. Comes Romer. Numbers. Leaves yeah. that one for Easton Duft. Wow, well, so well played by Duft. You extend yourself wide, allow yourself to fill in as that defender comes up. Ooh, Spencer Kranich right to the rim. Cranes has been a guy that I've not talked about because he's not on my roster, and I keep forgetting about him. Uh, he was an addition that week you were going. He was. He was. But he's been a nice player. Been aggressive looking for his opportunities. Play for Coach Briggs. Dusty's getting angry. <laughs> oh, All nice inbound to Johnson, blocked away by McConkey. Good job, George. Brogan Miles leaves that one for Kranich. Free throw line, J. No. Johnson and McConkey battle for that one, and it's Johnson. You know, I got a great little moniker for McConkey, but I don't know that he nor the Highland Hecklers would like it, so we may have to test that one before we come out with it. Yeah? Yeah. We'll talk when I'm okay. here. <laughs> it's not derogatory at all. It's just it was just the way you said. Whatever you got me to almost break on air, <laughs> it's been for the same thing. <laughs> So, five-point game. Yeah, closest it's been in a while. Fisher sends that one to the corner. Kranich drives it Sutton, loses his footing, throws it away. So it tends to happen in some of this stuff. It's all kind of gets stuck. you got trying to drive and dish instead of just running your stuff. And Well, and yeah, and you have guys that are trying to make plays, right, and trying to stop a run, get some offensive rhythm back, and... Ball maybe sticks a little bit. Oh, nice shot of coming down for that Dutch Dowdell. Dutch. Free throw line jump, or probably baseline J, no. Did he commit Ivy? Dutch, I think Yale comes that, to mind. I, I oh, was. Fisher. Yale or Harvard, but I thought that he had gone all smart on us. I think we might have another Ivy League commit here pretty soon, too, in the state. Carter on the drive. Nice finish. Jason Carter. And the three off the back of the iron. Rebound and run out here to Romer. Romer right down the lane, left hand, no. Followed by Sutton, no. 
And it's Fisher. Three Harvard. on one. Yeah, Harvard. that's going to Harvard. Oh. It's a kick ball on the pass there from Duft. Good for him, man. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. No scholarship. You get some tuition assistance and some help there. And then you usually get help with some internship stuff. Oh, and plus one to McConkie. And it's a two-point game. Oh, wait. Put on the wrong side. My bad. Eight-point game. I had a family member who did the HBS program. Sister-in-law enjoyed being in the Boston area. Oh, and three for Sutton. Yeah, nice three there for Sawyer Sutton. Ball moving. You get an open look. Got to take advantage of it. Dowdell. Now, the question is, did he own that real estate before the plant leg came down? I wasn't paying attention before that plant leg. And that's where it's going to take an adjustment, right? To be like, get your eyes in the right spot. Mm -hmm. Be looking for the right keys, cues. Let you get the clock right. So that free throw is good. Of course, if you want to talk real estate, you know who's been owning real estate? Texas Rangers own a lot of Houston real estate these last <laughs> couple days, eh? Oh. That was nice. That win I can take. The what's happening at the moment? Just a little indigestion. Now, I'm an Angels fan, but I do take on the Phil the Philadelphia teams. As Conky. Oh. Mm. Well, that's a great move. Haskell. Jumper won't go. Dell sends up to Sua. Simon gives it up to Simon. Short on the three. Romer. Send it back out. Romer going to drive. Leaves it for Sutton. Well, I thought he was going to pull that. There you go. And there it is. And short. With that hesitation, right? Like if you catch that in rhythm... You have a little more confidence stepping in that, but when you don't take that shot, and now you got to kind of reset it, amplify the difficulty there. You can't stop once you start. It stings. Three on the corner, Luke West. And a lead back to seven. Once again, Luke West, another big made triple. Such a big year last year as a freshman for Bingham. Haskell drives at Dowdell. Got inside, left hand to finish. Yeah, nice take there by Haskell. A left hander right at the rim. I could never go left. I'm like Zoolander. <laughs> Not an ambi turner. Duff sends it out to Romer. Big shot. 4 3. And just like that, it's down to one possession. The Alley Cats clawing back. That kid's been shooting on a polyethylene hoop his whole life. He's not afraid of that. Which is crazy because this is glass. <laughs> they also have a glass one. Oh, oh, Luke West with the block on Haskell at the rim. I'm trying to remember the name. Goliath. The Goliath backboard. Of course, back in my day, we, we went up against sheer fiberglass. Mm -hmm. I had the fiberglass lifetime. Hoop. Mine was a Spalding. Mm, oh, the three. How about? And the, it's a lead. Yeah, the range there from Jason Carter. We've seen him flash that long ball in the top 50 this year. It was a 17-point deficit at one point. 
Now a one-point lead to the Fury. And where did the Fury go? That's a quick look there for West. I'm just off the mark. Johnson off on the triple. Rebound to West. Yeah, kind of knew that one was going to be wide the moment it left his hand. Oh, kicked and now picked up. Johnson back with Isaiah Riser. And extends the lead to three. Man, everything just out of rhythm right now for the Fury. That's normally a shot the Dutch is very confident in and that he makes quite regularly. I apologize that our back our uh, graphics were backwards. They switched jersey colors on us. Didn't hit me until just now. <laughs> he said, "Where are the Fury?" Is uh, going to put uh, Carter at the line. Now I've you've gone to using the team rosters, and I've gone to the big roster. Oh, yeah, it. So I'm going to apologize to all our fans for watching. Can't blame Preston. So make it a five-point game. Carter's free throw is good. I have faith he'll totally redeem himself before this night's done. Speaking <laughs> of executive producer Dusty Lister. <laughs> we'll try. But Gonky can't get that one. Jackson Johnson with the board. Drive Johnson to the rim. Stop the ball, oh, man. Just couldn't get it to go. You want to talk about fortunate? You talked about the highest rated uncommitted player in the state. No one picks him up. You let him run the length of the floor and give him an opportunity at the rim. Fortunate that one does not go down. You make him earn it the hard way here. Of course, for some, this is the easier way because their percentage from the line is better than from the floor. But Jackson, it's been tough shooting for him this second half. Yep. Still yeah. Fisher. Shot won't go. Johnson with the rebound. Quickly sent ahead to Haskell. Pretty beautiful pass. Nice lay in. And now a seven-point lead. 24-point swing. Yeah, you kind of had runners coming from the corners there, just like the Diamondbacks have right now. Spencer all the way to the lane. Sorry, Dusty, I couldn't resist. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, time out on the floor. We'll be right back. Two forty-four left in this one. And we'll have one more game of our triple header. As Duft drive oh. down the lane, got it back. Well, that's knocked away, and we've seen Easton Duft and his speed. How does he catch up to that loose ball? I have no idea. Now yeah, Fisher called for the travel. I don't know what the run has been. But you mentioned the deficit was 17 at one point. It's now turned into a seven-point lead. Yeah. The plus minus is crazy. <laughs> the three from the corner, no. Rebound. Spencer taking away. No, but Jackson stepped on the line. I do appreciate basketball's desire to take a hockey metric and make it meaningful, but. Spencer. Spencer. Five point game. A minute and a half left. The clock will stop for free throws. Haskell drives at Sua and got it over the top of him. It's a nice finish. That's probably one in the regular season. You might get that call extend beyond the three point line. Thought the hands got in a little bit. Sua for three. Boy, they needed that. In a bad way. Yep. 
Shot clock still on. Haskell. <laughs> Call in the closer. Well, that's one where <laughs> you probably have a bunch of fans not very happy with what in a regular season could be a push off right. there from Haskell. I thought that arm maybe got out a little bit. But look, the top 50, it's about playing through that court sort of thing, right? Yeah, you know, that's Fall League. Hey, give him his moment. Yeah. Hits the three, and it's now a seven point lead once again. Again, good remind you, we'll be back on Monday for Championship Day. We'll have three girls' games to start at 4.15 on Monday. And then the boys' games will be the final three games from the Delta Center. Part of one of the more fun parts about the Utah Top 50. One, for us to get ready for basketball season. Secondly, it's just fun for the the uh, young ladies and the young men to get a play on the floor. How many people get the opportunity to go play on an NBA floor in an NBA stadium? Not many. Yeah, not many. I mean, I saw something this week that said there have been less than 5,000 players playing the NBA. Yeah. That crazy? That's crazy. Well, Provo Miles nearly lost the handle. Gets it out to Luke West. Three won't go. Spencer with the rebound. Gives it to Fisher. And Fisher with the dunk. Five-point game. All right, Dusty. We talked last week about scenarios. Two possessions here. You fouling? You got a foul. We don't have enough clock left here. 28 seconds. Yeah, there was only a four-point difference there. Or four-second difference in a four-point game. I thought you'd foul a little earlier. That's okay. Now the foul at 25 seconds. And now we'll shoot two free throws. Now we have seen players get away with immediately grabbing the rebound and taking off. And the official's not stopping He, he just, just said one-on-one. One. Yeah. Heart hearing isn't going bad. Empty gym, man. It makes a huge difference. And then the free throw good from Jax. And both of us are in our 40s here in a couple of weeks. One of us already is. Another one can't admit it. So <laughs> 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 oh, and Johnson oh. with the steal. Uh, quite the comeback in this one for the Alley Cats. So Jax Allen bringing it back out. Yeah, the last chance to get that win prior to uh, championship night, and the Alley Cats get it done. For our final score, the Indiana Alley Cats 72 and the Fort Wayne Fury 65. Dan, your selection of a player of the game. Man, I don't even know. Haskell? Yeah, I'm, we can go with Haskell. Here's the thing. Like, I look at it, and I feel like multiple players made big plays in that second half. Sutton hit some big threes in the second half to get things going. Jason Carter, I thought, had good plays in the block. Sam Romer. It, there's a oh, lot of yeah. guys you can make arguments for. I'm good with Jaden Haskell. I thought Haskell closed Was it. aggressive late. Yeah, yeah. No. Jaden Haskell. Yeah, good. We have an accord. Indiana Alicat 72 and the Fort Wayne Fury 65. Jaden Haskell, our top 50 player of the game for Dane Stewart and Austin Bigelow. I'm Dusty Lister. Thanks for joining us and for watching Utah Top 50 Basketball on KSL Sports and the Rewind Sports Network.